Hey guys. Well, what's going on? Told you. We back for part two of Madden NFL 22 Fantasy Draft QB Mode Edition. I guess. How do you want to say it? Well, I'm back for part two of this series. I am going to do a part two. I mean, like, another... After I finish these, this season, I'm going to do another Your season with, you know, my uh, quarterback. Hey, typical gaming girl. How you doing? I ain't going to waste any of y'all time anyway, so... Let's go ahead. Get us some butts. It's week four of the National Football League with Baltimore. I am doing fantastic. They lead the all time series against Denver eight games to six. It's the Ravens and the Broncos next. An absolutely perfect fall afternoon for football. And we are under great blue Colorado skies and a power field of mile high. And yes, Denver. ugly. We it is. Look at my team. The hometown Broncos taking the field as they get set to do battle. It's Josh Allen taking the Broncos. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. Let's do this. They go play action here on first down. Good. And that nearly intercepted. And the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. And Charles, despite this list see, of key inactives that we see here, I'm Chris Godwin. Still been pretty successful. Chris out for a season five. Because to me, when that happens, key guys are out. The next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. Fighting through, and he's got space. We'll be Jake. Taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play that time through the air. Thirty-one yards. Oh, I Chris Godwin on his team, but he's out for the season. Oh, man. His ability to keep his eyes downfield. Yes. That stinks. McKenzie. I don't know how I feel about this running back. He's all right, but I I don't know. It's an extra depth in the secondary here. They're in the dime. He'll look to throw. Steps away. Gets <gasps> into the slide. He will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. See how I snagged his ankles real quick, McDuck. He's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? He protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Go ahead, get you in the end zone, buddy. I told you. I was going to give you a touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie, his second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown. I told you I was giving you a touchdown, my boy. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but without I'm walking for it. Guarantee. Guarantee. God dang. Coming out, coming out. That's complete to the running back, Naheem Hines. 
And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit. I say I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just give me a minute, all right? I'm going the ball, just give me a minute. This is Hines. And it maneuvers his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. I'm going to hide the ball. Never mind. Let's face it. You could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there. And it also brings up third down. After one, seven nothing. <laughs> on EA Sports. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side, complete. That's how it's good contained. No gain on the screen, and he'll bring up third down. Oh, yeah, you hate to see it. Screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not one <laughs> second, not one bit. How about hate to figuring see it. it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? A punt of 46, a return of five. Oh, God. And about Josh Allen still can't do nothing, bro. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, Running my pullback. Yes, sir. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rolling to his right. Well, Link. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you're going to set up. I got the speed. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Well, my man's OBJ on the screen. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on? Well, I fall on wanting to do this up to your teammates, but pick your spot. I got you, Odell. They need you for the full season. And the rookie's going to learn as he goes. And all. 22 yard line. It's a big I got you, my boy OBJ. I, I literally almost got out of bounds. From that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling out to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result Number six, in six. You don't get some monkey foot out of my way. Good pick up on first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Ah, uh, dang it. There's no running on this. I'm clutching. Taking myself. Oh, no, I'm not. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, I'm gonna get this first. You don't play? I'm getting this first. No, I'm not. Get him down about three yards short of the first. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They're selling for three. What you think? And this one is right through. And the lead moves to 10 10. So that one. Selling for three. What are we doing? I'm like what? So they surrendered three points, and now after the kickoff, this offense gets ready Ooh. to take over the football. All right, let's go capitalize. Sliding out of the pocket. They'll have a first down past the forty. Oh! To the forty-yard line before he's out of bounds. Go ahead and flex on him real quick. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past oh, from them, the catch. they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. He'll buy some time right. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 
containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust? We're gonna call it time out, okay? I think that's something about your rush legs. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. We're gonna call it time out, okay? They'll roll him out right. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Doyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with just one second remaining in the yeah. first half, they'll call the timeout. I'm going to stick another three. With one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. I'm going to stick the half. So the football will be not forced, no interceptions. That's the pet peeve that I hate. It's throwing interceptions and getting sacked. Now a play fake here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he That's takes it beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Now, let's Jack. A completion to his tight end. Take Jack Doyle. The other side of midfield before going out of bounds. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. What you got? Huh? What you got? And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it up in. Oh, jet sweep and on nice little gain out of it. Forced out to his left. Slide. He will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Rolling to his right. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the balls are run, run. and he'll take it Thank into you. the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Naeem Hines. His first touchdown on the year. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down. I am so sorry, Josh Allen. For this next drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. On second down, right back to Hines. Despite some tough running, he's still wrangled down shy of the 15. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. You think about the strong safety position. You know, they're the more bulkier guys in the free safety, but that's a great athleticism to hustle in and break up that play. He's got Jack Doyle, and he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mm -hmm. They're going to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. They're triggering oh, yeah. throwing it. They feel just as confident with him doing this that we wanted. as they would. Is this is what we wanted for you. For touchdown. Nine points, 76 yards. And the Ravens are going to be moving to 4-0 and as they extend their lead. Yes, sir. So there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied, and he winds up taking this all the way to the end zone. And that's a second touchdown run. That's what we needed for you, my boy. 
Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? They'll start out here with the option left. That was horrible. He he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play. No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. 95 yards rushing for him now, as he has been tremendous all day long. Just two minutes remaining in the minutes. fourth quarter of what has one-sided affair. <laughs> so it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he's going to wind up with a first down as he's able to even dive for a little extra yardage at the tail end there. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. All right. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and goal from the six this time. Straight to four, no, big dog. And they will take a knee here. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards? Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This is a 26-yard attempt. It's still a game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that winds it. So the final seconds get away in this Baltimore victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. Mm -hmm. So for Baltimore, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. and And they'll return home next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for the Broncos... I'm so sorry, Josh Allen. And they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Heinz Field to take on the Steelers. Josh Allen did not have no touchdowns, bro. Crazy. It's next week. This the Colts. They're one and three. And this is Russell Wilson's team right here. Three touchdowns. Buddy, I don't know about all that, the dog. All right. God damn, I gotta get two people touchdowns, bro. Fuck. Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. Alright. Russell. Let's go ahead and put up a game, my boy. Let's 
Let's go ahead, Russell. Let's go ahead and get it. 